Hey, it's that time of the year for the uh, YouTube Sports Card Hall of Fame nominee votes. I think it's the last day to do it, so I'm, I'm just squeaking in a vote. And if you're wondering, why do I have a Bengals player in the background? Well, I don't know if you've been following football, but uh, the, my Cincinnati Bengals are the real deal. So I'll be putting some Bengals cards in the background. I do not have any Joe Burrow or Jamar Chase cards at the moment, so these will have to do. But uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I look forward to this uh, voting every year. Um, I think ultimately the Hall of Fame is is a good thing. It's about bringing awareness to other channels. Uh, my whole gripe with it has always been that I, you know, if this is a true Hall of Fame, then I, I don't think people that have done videos for just a couple of years should get in because that to me is more like a Rookie of the Year vote or a MVP. If, if you're a Hall of Famer, you 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 have to have a a long um, career of, of excellence and that that requires many years of posting videos because it's it's hard to, to keep it up for many years um, I believe it's got extended to you have to make a video for three years which I think it's a step in the right direction I, I, I think I would have made it four to five years I mean four years is, is a good chunk of change and it's it's not impossible to, to make videos for four years but it's it's definitely a little harder right I mean it takes four years to graduate college, four years, graduate high school. I think four years is a, in my opinion, a, a better, a better, uh, requirements, but Hey, I'm, I'm not the commissioner and I'm still happy for this entire, um, voting process, but let's get to, the, to my picks. These are all guys, um, that have been doing sports card videos for a long, long time. I've been doing videos for almost eight years. And most of these guys have been doing videos longer than I have. And they inspired me to post videos. Um, and they continue to make great quality um, content. I'm not just voting for these guys because they've been doing it for a long time. It's because they also do great videos. Start off with two guys that I think should just be a lock. Uh, if, you, if you're in the Hall of Fame already, you guys should consider voting these, these two members in for the Lifetime Achievement Award. Starting with uh, Lefty NDV10, Drew, he's been making card videos for 13 years, okay, 13 years. Um, he started out doing modern modern card videos and he was collecting Chipper Jones for a period of time and, and was showing off his 90 sensor cards. Uh, and in the last couple of years, he's been into Tito Six cards. Um, so if you like Tito Sixes, Tito Sixes, uh, he's very formative about that kind of, kind of thing and um, I, I started out doing Tito Sixes, so I, I also have the, the shared love of, of, of posting Tito Six videos. So Drew gets my vote, 100%. He's a great guy, too. I room with him at the National. Uh, next, Maxa Jackson. These guys are both doing videos that are on the same time for 13 years. Um, Max has a, a great knowledge of, of pre-war cards, uh, vintage cards. Um, what can I say? I mean, he's got an incredible channel, uh, worth checking out. He, he deserves more subs. And I, you know, I, I think he, I would strongly, strongly recommend voting for Maxa Jackson to get in the Hall of Fame. Then we got Fru3112. Um, he's been, his, his first card video was posted 10 years ago. This guy has always been about um, quality over quantity. I think for the most part, I like to kind of uh, do a, a similar thing with my collection, but he takes it to a whole other level. He only picks up like one or two to maybe, I don't know, five cards a year, and they're they're big time cards. So he's he's compiled quite the collection. I only post a couple videos a year, which I think was preventing me from wanting to vote for him in, in, in previous years. But I mean, 10 years making card videos is, is very impressive. And he's he's got just a hell of a hell of a collection. So food three one one two has my vote. Then Bart's cards. He's been posting for nine years. He's had a different couple different um, channel names. I think they all had Bart in them, but uh, he's one of the OG YouTube channels to post PSA submission videos. He's been doing that forever. Collects primarily primarily football cards, but he also has a pretty impressive uh, vintage baseball card collection as well uh he's i think believe he's a member of the military um, seems like a great guy would love to meet him 
posting videos for nine years, guys. Vote him in. Bards cards. And we got New York Yanks fan seven. I think he's going to get in this year. I, I, I'm seeing a lot of people um, post um, uh, his name for their nominee. And, and, and to anyone who's voted for me, thank you. I really appreciate your votes. If I if I haven't comment, commented on your video, I'm, I'm sorry about that. I've been busy with work and some, some things. But anyway, New York Yanks fan seven posting videos for at least nine years. I think he had another channel at one point, but right when I was starting to post videos about eight years, I was looking at his stuff and he was one of the channels that inspired me to post um, sports card content. Um, he has just amazing collection. I mean, vintage basketball, vintage baseball. Um, I think he even has um, some hockey and football. He's also a comic book collector. I'm not a big comic book um, collector of myself, but I love learning about that kind of stuff. But I think he's finally getting some recognition with um, his appearances on Silver Jack Defy. Um, I guess his, his his face reveal was a was a big thing. I I've I've not sh I've not showed my face on YouTube. It, it wasn't really a thing I've you, you know done on purpose at first. But I think I don't know. I kind of enjoy not showing my face, but maybe I'll show my face someday. I mean, you guys have all seen me in person anyway. Um, Anyway, New York Yank fan, Yanks fan seven, definitely deserves a vote. Uh, Dodger twenty seven, been posting videos for eight years. Now, one of the big reasons why he's on my nominee list is he was posting uh, the top ten, top twenty, top fifty uh, sports cards in his collection videos long before anyone else. I mean, Silver Jack Defy really, you know, popularized that that whole list. But this guy was the originator of, of, of showing off your top cards in your collection. Um, so Dodger27 gets my votes. Um, and we got Dave's Midlife Crisis. Posting videos for eight years. Great channel name. I, I briefly met him at the National. Great guy. Just a wide collection of cards. Uh, modern, some vintage. Dave deserves my vote. Eight years, guys. Eight years he's been posting videos. Not two or three. <laughs> um, then we got Wait. He calls himself Wait Triple Three. Wait Three Three Three. Uh, doesn't have a ton of subs. I'm sure you guys don't know who this guy is, but man, I mean, he's been posting videos for eight years, and the, the big reason why I want to nominate him is because he was one of the guys, along with Nate who were posting 90s insert cards before anyone was doing that. He, he was one of the guys that inspired me to, to pick up 90s insert cards. Um, so if you're a fan of, of, of shiny refractor cards, this guy was one of the OGs. DB Teller, posting videos for seven years. Uh, member of the military, I believe he's recently retired from the military, but he's been posting videos for seven years um, started posting around the same time I was, maybe a little bit after I, I was, but uh, always just loved watching his pickups. He he's amassed quite an impressive uh, vintage baseball collection. I mean, look at some of his older videos; you'll be really impressed by just um, just his large breadth of, of of vintage baseball cards that he has. I mean, he's got some of the some of the key cards from almost almost every era. So DB Tiller. Seven years. Then we got my final pick. I, I believe this is the 10th one. Barely squeezed in. I'm trying to pick YouTubers that have been doing videos for at least five years. Um, Rated Rookie, I believe, is almost at five years. So I'm going to count him in. I love, 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 love his videos. Um, some of the best lighting in the biz. I mean, they're always just perfectly sunny videos i believe he lives in california probably 72 degree weather there all the time and uh against some ivy and then there, you hear the birds chirping in the background um, and on top of that the stuff he's showing off are just huge cards he's got i love his collection variety of, of stuff vintage basketball vintage baseball some hockey some football some 90s inserts a little bit of everything so he's my final vote, rated rookie. Surprise, Donruss hasn't um, called him out for copyright infringement, but maybe not. Um, anyway, 
this is, I am not in the Hall of Fame, so this vote does not count for me, but this is another uh, YouTube channel I want you, uh, Hall of Fame YouTubers to consider for the Lifetime Achievement Award, Escafan. This guy was one of the first ever to post vintage sports cards. So when I started posting T206 videos about eight years ago, there really wasn't anyone posting that kind of stuff other than this guy, Escafan. And he hasn't posted in a number of years, but he inspired me to post vintage sports cards. He, he was the, one of the first to do that. He was showing off tobacco cards, caramel cards, bunch of cards from the early 1900s. And I, he deserves he deserves to get into the Hall of Fame. I, 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 I think he's overlooked in this hobby for his significance. Uh, but check his check his videos out. I, I think he had to sell his office collection because I noticed about a year ago his stuff was popping up on eBay. But regardless, he deserves to get into the Hall of Fame. So that's it. Uh, thank you for watching it, and, and thank you everyone for 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 your votes for me. And and um, yeah, I think this is a fun thing to do for the hobby. Later.